here with creative life and thank you all so much for joining me today and welcome to my crafty channel today is another day for the 12 days of christmas series and our host is rosa kelly from rosa kelly scrapbooking and kim murray from Scra salty beat scrappers is also joining us for the 12 days of christmas series so today y'all i have a really super cute project and it is the dome it is a glass dome from tim holtz and it is just like it's this one right here and i picked this up uh gosh i think this last summer i picked it up from joann's or or maybe michael's i don't remember where i got it i just remember i i bought it <laughs> So I had this in my stash and I thought this would be stinking cute for a Christmas scene. And y'all, Rosa made a challenge for us every for every 12 days of Christmas. So today's challenge is a hidden reindeer. So y'all, I hid a little reindeer back behind the little light there. And um, I did do a little tutorial for you guys. I also grabbed a little tree that was from Tim Holtz and I also this little lantern is also from Tim Holtz these little uh, items here the poinsettia the Christmas and then the little pine cone and then that little sticker on the on the lantern is actually just stickers that I received from a swap and then I put this little wreath up here and I thought that was so stinking cute so yep so this is it you guys and there's the little hidden reindeer i went ahead and painted him brown he was actually white and then i went ahead and did eyes and the nose in like um a dark brown color and then uh, i did spots on him too but you can barely see the spots i'll go ahead and take off the dome so there's the little spots on him so cute so i don't know if y'all can see it back there he's really hidden back there so I share with you how I put this together. And so, yeah, so that is it, you guys. I think it's so cute. I share with you how I made my snow, what I used, and everything for this little dome. It is so stinking cute. I absolutely love how this turned out. And the little light works back there. So I just thought this was a super cute little uh, Christmas decor and or you don't even have to make it into a Christmas decor. You could definitely use this little dome for anything you would like and I just think it's super cute. So I'm going to share with you real quick the tutorial. Thank you all so much for joining me. I will have all the links down below and so stay tuned. Take care. I'll talk to you tomorrow. <laughs> All right, y'all, so we're gonna go ahead and start this project. And I will probably be fast forwarding through most of this. And we're going to be doing a display dome by Tim Holtz. And I thought these were so stinking cute, you guys. So cute, I love it. And I like that it's small, so it's not super big. You know, you have to take a whole lot of time to decorate it. <laughs> so, but we are gonna be doing something fun for this. So we're gonna make this into a little Christmas display. And you can keep it on a credenza, you can keep it on like a mantle or, you know, wherever you want to. Maybe even in the bathroom for some decor. And you don't have to just use this for your holiday decor. You can also use this just in everyday decor. So, um, yeah. So anyway, I'm going to go ahead and we're going to get started doing this, okay? Okay, you guys. So the first thing I did was I placed gesso in a little bowl and that's what I'm going to um, cover the cork with and I put two coats of gesso on top of this and I'm using white gesso you can use white paint but I'm not quite sure how that will um, I don't know if it'll absorb into the cork or not so that's why I chose to use white gesso once you're done you're going to go ahead and set that aside to dry Next, I went ahead and sprayed evergreen bow onto the Tim Holtz trees. To paint my little deer, that was a Tim Holtz uh, ideology item, um, I went ahead and used walnut stain. 
and then I painted white little dots on the back using my new bow drops. Okay, so now for the base of the tree uh, stand, I'm going to use this Flower Soft, and it's the Polar White Flower Soft, and um, you can get this at flowersoft.com. I don't know if they're still in business because I bought this like years ago, you guys. So um, again, it's just flowersoft.com. So I'm going to go ahead and use this, and then along with that, I'm going to add a little bit of this Recollections uh, White Glitter. Now, I bought this I think, um, I want to say two, maybe three years ago, and I still have some left, you guys. So it's been around for a while, long time. Uh, a big one of these will last forever. So, uh, yeah, so I have this for a long time. So that's what I'm going to add to eat, to this. So, All right, so we're going to just need our glue here. Okay, so at this point, I went ahead and grabbed my X-Acto knife, and I'm kind of carving out a line down the back of the little cork there, and I'm making it deep enough to where the little light, lantern light, cord can fit in between the little area. Okay, so here I grabbed the little Tim Holtz lantern and stuck that on top, and then the cord did fit inside, and I went ahead and glued down down inside later. Okay, so after my trees dried, I went ahead and grabbed some white pearls that I had in my stash, and I went ahead and just snipped off the tops of the trees, and then went ahead and wrapped those pearls around the tree there and hot glued them down. So here's where I took my chocolate smooch and I went ahead and painted the eyes and the nose brown on the deer. And then I took my, uh, I thought I used Nouveau drops, but I used my pearl essence white drops and I just put some little white dots on the back of the deer. So now we're just going to go ahead and put everything together. So I'm going to go ahead and fast forward through this part and play some happy music for you. <laughs> So there is my little glass dome and it turned out so stinking cute. I love how the little reindeer is hidden behind there. And so it's so cute. Oh my gosh. And it lights up you guys. So how cute is that? So I'm going to light that up real quick for you guys. So here we go. And there we go. So I'm going to turn off my light real quick. There we go, you guys. 
How cute is that? Oh my gosh, it is so cute. I love it. So thank you guys so much for joining me. I have the links down below, so go ahead and visit Rosa and Kimmy's uh, YouTube channels to see what they created today for the 12 days of Christmas. Thank you all so much for stopping by. Take care, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye. Thanks again for joining me today, and I wanted to let you know, don't forget to look at my playlist for the 12 Days of Christmas of 2019 and 2020 for more crafty ideas for your crafty Christmas.